it comes to getting bands for your mom or any female uh, adult, the best bands to go ahead and get are starting with the dynamic stabilizer. Dynamic stabilizer is going to allow you to go ahead, hook it around, hook it above your knee, and do a lot of lateral movements to strengthen those hips. A lot of females are weak through their hips, and as a result, the dynamic stabilizer is a great way to go ahead and work both the lateral component of your hips as well as the anterior, and then going ahead and even working a little bit of posterior or those glute max area. Dynamic stabilizer is going to be one of those bands that you're definitely going to want to get. Now, along with that, you're going to probably want to get a pair of each of these. And the reason I think you want to get a pair is because, again, you're going to want to do bilateral movements, both upper body, lower body, and each band has its importance when it comes to specific exercises. Let's start from the bottom up. First band I think you want to get is the super micro band. Now, this is a little bit wider band than our traditional micro band. Why do I find this to be the best for females? It's a little bit wider. It's a little bit more comfortable on their hands. It also fits when you go ahead and attach it onto your body. It's going to be a lot more comfortable because the surface area is greater on the band. So therefore, I really think this band will become a very important band for you to do a lot of upper body training, a lot of core training, and go again, even some lower body training if you're weak through that area. So that's going to be one of your first bands you want to get. Second band you want to get is probably a red band. And the red band, even though it's a half inch wide, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find this band to be your next step up from the super micro. And it's going to challenge you again to do upper body and lower body work. But more importantly, it's going to allow you to go ahead and do that overhead press work and a lot of those smaller muscles like pull aparts and bicep and tricep work. Red band is going to be what you're going to find that to be useful for. A lot of my females in our boot camp go ahead and utilize the red band very often. The last band I think you want to consider getting, but could be an optional band, is our black medium band. And again, this band you might want to hold off on for a little bit. Again, based on your overall strength, and I go ahead, take you through, if you can go ahead and do push-ups, or if you can do two to three push-ups, I think you might want to get, consider getting a black band because I think your strength level will be where you want it to be. I think the black band can come in helpful for lower body training. I also like to use the black band when it comes to lower body locomotion training. Walking, running, skipping, any types of locomotion exercises where we hook the band around our hips and we go ahead and start moving back and forth in more of a running fashion. Black bands work really well for that, but if your strength level, lower body strength level, is not there, you might be able to do it in a red band as well. So the black band I can consider being an option, but you know what, if you're going to go ahead and get the other two, and your strength level is relatively good, I think you're going to want to go ahead and get the black band right away. Lastly, what do you need for accessories? Well, I think handles are critical, and especially for females. You know, my hands have become very callous using bands over the years, so not all the time, very often do I not, I usually don't need handles. But I find that a lot of my female clients really enjoy having handles. Now, I think the handles are important, one, for comfort, but two, more importantly, it really helps activate your shoulder stabilizers. And that's important because by grasping something and getting that shoulder to stabilize better, you're going to be a lot stronger when it comes to pushing movements. So therefore, I think handles are really critical, not just from a comfort level, but also from a stabilization standpoint. The last piece of accessory I think is important is I always suggest getting a band utility strap because you're going to want to train anywhere and sometimes you don't have an attachment site and so when we go ahead and show you some of the best exercises for you to train with and it's an attached exercise how are you going to go ahead and do it now if you have a circular structure of some type you can attach it onto that's great but then you're attached or literally attached to that area so you can't go ahead and go anywhere you want you're going to follow me you're going to want to go out and train in the parks. You're going to want to train outside. Therefore, a band utility strap automatically allows you to attach into doors, attach onto trees, attach onto anything that potentially could go ahead and damage your band. So I would highly suggest if you're going to go ahead and get a pair of bands, you might want to go ahead and consider right away getting a band utility strap. That's it. That's what I suggest as a female client or a female customer or a mom. Those are the bands that I suggest you go ahead and get.